Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Salesforce Talk. Okay, this is uh, uh, Vara Prasad Vemula. So in this video, uh, uh, we'll discuss about some Salesforce CPQ interview questions, and uh, okay, we'll explain uh, with some real time scenarios and examples. Okay. So, uh, so for example, I'll take one example. This is an interview question. Okay, why our Salesforce product is not showing in the cart? Okay, there are many reasons why our product is not showing in the part. Okay, first thing is that we have to check product is active or not. Okay, if product is active, okay, then we have to check price book is active or not. Price book entry is active or not. Okay, so if product is not showing in your part, you have to check first. What is the first thing you have to check? Is you have to check product is active or not. If it is active, then go and check in the price book. It is active or not in the price book entry. Okay, in the price book, we have to check the price book entries. It is active or not. If you are also, you are also product is active, price book entry is active, then you can search filters. You can choose the search filters in the court, uh, cart. Is there any filter applied by default? You can check that one also. Okay. In case if that product is a multi dimensional code product, you have to check at least one price dimension should be mandatory there. So these are the ways you have to check. Okay. If everything is there, okay, product is active, price book entry is active, and no search filters. And that is not a MDQ product. Still, your product is not showing. Why? What is the reason? Okay. So we'll see, sir. What is the reason? And um, for example, you can see this is my sales force all. So these are all you can see. For example, you can shoot this one. So this is a Samsung power bank product. You can see this product is active. Okay. So I have added this product in uh, US surprise book and the India price book also. If you go to the US surprise book, you can see my product here also. Price book entry is active. Okay, just click a view all and you can see where it's something for them yeah so here also it is active so product is act active price book entry also active okay then go and check this product is like a multi-dimensional product or not okay this is not a mdq product you can check here so i have not added any price dimensions here so that this is not a multi-dimensional code product and this is not a subscription product also so why still product is not showing can just go quote check we are able to see that product or not i can take any existing quote also fine or create a new quote so i'm just creating new quote we can see that product is visible or not samsung power bank product is active price book entry is active that is not mdq product and there is no such filters now in my cart also Okay, I'm just creating empty code now. I'm not uh, having, uh, adding any details here. So go to your code by clicking edit lines. So this is a, a most uh, uh, repeated interview question, sir. I have seen this interview question in the two, three interviews recently. Okay, so why still your product is not able to see in the court? That's what they are asking question. Everything is active. So I'm choosing US surprise book. In the price book, my product, price book entry, everything is active. Can we see now our Samsung product is showing or not? Can you see, sir, anywhere Samsung product here? Can just see anywhere here? Check. So not showing. There is no filters also. You can see I have not applied any filters also. No filters, nothing. Product is active. Price book entry is active. No filters and my product is not mdq product still it is not showing in the court what is the reason this is the uh, question they're asking in the interview so what is the reason why product your product is not showing in the court pages everything is active okay so, so there is a one more uh, field in the product object called so like a component so if this component field is checked true you cannot see your product in the code line editor or in the edit lines so I'll show, I'll edit this one. So this is entry question. If your product component is set true, you cannot see that one in the code line editor. Okay, just click uncheck and click as Okay, so now go and just refresh your page. Now you, you can see your Samsung product. Why? Now I have disabled that component checkbox in the product level. So now click add products. Now we can try 
you can see Samsung for that product is there. Yes, so this is the way you have to give answer. Everything is active. Still your product is not showing in the card pages. What is that because of this component checkbox is true. Okay. So this is uh, the interview question nowadays asking. So I hope this will help you. Thanks. Thanks.